Hello, everyone. I think we're live. Hopefully. Hopefully you can hear me and see me. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Yes, it looks like I'm live. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, welcome. We haven't done one of these in a little while. Been a lot of news lately. Uh, last time we did one of these was, wow, January 24th. Ten days ago. We hadn't done one of these in ten days. I'll mention the hoodie brand later. I like this hoodie. Uh, let's see who we got. Hang on, I gotta figure this out here. Um, Raven Riley is moderating, thank you. Um, also, uh, let's see. BZ is moderating, K Body is moderating, thank you. Thanks to all of our mods. Uh, Buckshot36 is here. Diesel Defects is here right now. Louise, Pat W, hello, country girl. April Coco is here. Chinny Chin Chin is here. Jeff Hull Kemp. Scott Phillips, HC, BBB Sweden. Kinetic Barbara Crossley. Boss, Lulu, and Fun, Marlena Martirano, they're all here. Lunali, Lunali Syria, Bradley Johnson, Lee Bramoon, Kevin Hope. Callie Voltaire is here. Surprise guest, Callie Voltaire. Good to see you. Alibaba, Happy Sack, LGTV, Lillian MD, Corwin. Kim Hayes is here from the Pacific Northwest. Lynn Downey is here from Iowa. Aaron McClure, Lark Sporadic, Molly O. Uh, Angelina Knox. Kimberly Barr. Justin Rochkin. Cachette. Cherry Cola. Gin and Tonica. Chucky's. Chicklet is here. Uh, Lois Cox, Leon Ruder. Shiro. Where is... Uh oh. I might have to go grab my, uh, my eye drops. I think they're in the other room. Panda Jaguar is here. Jersey Girl. Susan, NDN Guide from Ontario. Uh, Lori Painter from Memphis. Lynn Powell, Sharon Heberling. Hello, Sharon, how are you? Jana is here. Maria's Kitty Cats is here. Denise Horton, Maria Upstate. Mila Bakes, okay to play all day. Suave, 12, 12, 209 is here. Wow, uh, a bunch of you just got memberships because Cruella, I think, was feeling very generous. Thanks, Cruella. She gave memberships to Michelle R., Susan, my name is Renee. Who else? Marzell and Lunani Syria, Lunali Syria. 
That's very nice. Hang on, I gotta fix something under here. Um, my timeout is here. If you want to know about the lighting, I would go back uh, maybe a couple months and we did a bunch of setup streams. So if you go back and watch our setup streams for this studio, like for example, that says working on the studio, you'll be able to see what we're using. Working on the studio, working on the studio, working on studio lighting. Check it out. Raul Julia is here. What say what? At some point, I'll list them all off too, but not right this second. Uh, S Cub is here. Debbie Long is here. Lexi is here. JLL is here. JLL, did you send the shirts in? Am I wrong, JLL? Didn't you send the shirts and the... Uh, no, that was LL, not JLL. LL sent the shirts in. <laughs> not JLL. It was close, though. Lego Mike is here. Joshua, Texas. Ryan, the gamer. Uh, Susan. This thing is giving us glare. We might put some letters on that later. Didn't need the glare. Tracy Ralston is here. John Colombo is here. Joanne Monahan. Pops one. S. Bernard is here. Brown El Camino is here. My Time Out is here. Marissa Pugliese is here. Zach A. Gail. Brad is here. Sunny Daves, War Dove, which means Joseph Soul, hello, is here. Did I mention Alibaba is here? This chair, at some point, now that we're in here, there's just the slightest slope in this room it's a very slight slope, and the chair has a tendency to, you know, f s roll to the back of the room. It's very slight, but it's just it's kind of annoying. And it's just, it's not so annoying enough that I'm like, I got to fix it right now, but then I never fix it. Hey, Zach A. Don Co. I don't like having carpet under the chair. I guess I could, but I don't really like that. I don't really like having, I like having the hardwood floor. Maybe I should put a carpet in here. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know if that would really solve it, though. Lynn, I got some mail at some point. I don't know if anything is still there. I don't know if I got your thing. I'll have to, I'm going to open a couple things up. I don't know if your thing came yet, Lynn. Or if it did, it might have come a day or two ago and I haven't been in there in a couple days. It's been busy this week. So we'll see what's here. I'm going to open a couple things. But if it's not here, I'll get it soon.
Lynn sent the Elf on the Shelf cereal, which I'm excited to try. Oh, you could replace the wheels with ones on with brakes. I guess I could, but I don't know if I want to. The problem with having brakes is then you can't roll. I do like rolling around, so brakes would be annoying. Mark says a very low pile rug would help. I might do that. Maybe I'll get a low pile rug. I don't want it to be super thick, though. Maybe I'll do that. I don't like when it's all thick. J-A-N-P is here modding. Hey, J-A-N-P. And add it to the add it to the list of things I have to do. Put square wheels. Uh, Dodongo wants me to put square square wheels. Yeah, maybe I'll just, at some point, I'll just get a cheap something to put under here. <laughs> it's annoying, though. It's just I can feel it the whole time. It like is, is like it's like it's a, I'm always fighting it kind of slowly rolling back. Just always. I really should have fixed it before. I, I don't know that a plastic mat will help. Why would a plastic mat help? Because it's just rolling. The plastic is going to be sloped just like the floor is, isn't it not? So why would that help? Marge is here. I don't even know that a rug will help. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll roll less. I don't know. Toolman says indoor outward rug would do it. Now, I don't know why the foot's in, it's in a very old house. It's a very old house. It doesn't look sloped. It doesn't feel sloped when you walk on it, but it clearly is a little sloped. Tim Feinbrook is here. Pumpkin Press is here. Another chair? No, I like the chair. It's not, I'm not going to change the chair. The thing is, I don't want it to be too hard to roll around because, again, I like I like moving around in my chair. So if it doesn't roll around at all, that kind of defeats the purpose. I, uh, maybe, I need like a little handbrake or something that I can easily put on and off. I don't know. Oh, I just don't want to deal with it right now. It's just annoying. A little more this chain. Lift up a little more. Everything's falling apart here. Hey, Rick Hoppy is here. It's just we haven't been down here that much because we've been busy covering news, so I just don't get motivated enough to fix these things. Then when I come back down and it's not fixed, I get upset that it's not fixed. 
but I don't get motivated because we're not here. Once we're here more, I'll get motivated to fix it. It's annoying though. Quirk Sugar Plum is here. Level off with shimmies. Level off what with shimmies? Oh, level off a mat with shimmies. You're saying get a mat and level that off. I guess in theory, maybe. Marzell is here. Uh, Marx's son loves Elf on a Shelf cereal. Yeah, it's probably sweet for me overall, but I'll definitely try it. Brendan Brumond is here. Factual Fatal is here. War Dove, I can't tell you the answer to that question. We got a couple things I'm going to I'm going to open up right very shortly. Hey M is our new member. Hello M. Darren Markley is here too. DB is here. See even now it's just like rolling back and forth. Also, you know, we haven't been down here much, so I'm not as used to it. So it's kind of, it's especially annoying because I'm not used to it. I'm always doing this. Be better if it didn't just roll away. Hang on, I have to get up for two seconds. Um, you might see it roll away right now. Gardening with Susie's here. Watch, it's going to roll. See, it's rolling. It stopped for now. But that's what happens. That's what it does. Crypto King is here. Hey, Crypto King. HM Doppelganger is here. I oh, know the mannequin did not move. I don't think the mannequin moved. Yasin Kasem is here. Alden Rose is here. I kind of wish I could raise the chair a little more too. Although that would be, if I got a rug, that would solve that problem. But I wouldn't raise it that much. Maybe if I got bigger wheels. Maybe I need giant wheels with locks on them. These wheels are pretty big though. No, I replaced the wheels already. I already replaced the wheels on this one. I have these nice, uh, nice blue wheels on this one. It just it doesn't go up anymore though, I don't think. No, I haven't raised as much as I can. And then the table is like it's just uh, everything's falling apart. I 
I'm also just not used to being down here because we haven't been down here in a week and a half. So I'm used to the other studio. I don't like I don't like shag rug. I don't like putting chairs on shag rug. They won't move. Then you got to put a pat. Then you got to put something on top of the shag rug. But I I didn't. I used to have my chairs on shag rug. I didn't like it. I did buy a mirror. Maybe at some point we'll talk about that. I'll write it down on my list of things to talk about. Uh, Swag, SWG, Southwest Georgia guy is here. MJ also just came by. See how I'm just fighting the chair? See how I'm fighting it? It just keeps wanting to roll back. It's, I spend the whole time bent over fighting the chair. It's so annoying. I really got to, uh, I really got to uh, figure this out. Probably good for my core muscles. Anyways, again, I don't want to lock the wheels because I like rolling the chair. If I lock it, then I can't move it all. I like moving back and forth. I just don't like rolling back. Rolling back not under my own power is what I don't like. Uh, do Dijuna says, stop fighting, become one with the imperfect chair. It's the imperfect slope. Jomo is here. No, the floor is not level. That's precisely the problem. It's just the slightest bit unlevel. Where is Nightbot, says Kay. Is Nightbot not working? Didn't we have that problem before? Oh, Eddie is here. Eddie, I'm going to mention your video. Thanks, Eddie. That's so nice of you. I'm going to mention Eddie's video that I watched that I liked. Hang on. Let me just see if I can get Nightbot working. Nightbot's been weird on this channel. Um, signing into it. See if it works now. See if Nightbot works now. April Coco says Nightbot is out with friends. Nightbot helps moderate the chat. Sofa King says, are you going to cover the storm in California? Sofa King, let's play a game. Let's, let's play a game. Do you think I'm going to cover the storm in California? And under what conditions would I cover the storm in California? Let's see if Sofa King can ask, answer Sofa King's own question. Hey, um, Eddie says he's not doing any better. Yeah, his surgery got canceled. That's not good. 
well, no, micro for reals. That's not a little graphic. Thanks, Philip Ray. Yeah, I'll look, guys, I'll look into the math thing. I got to find something that's like, it's going to be a big pain in the butt. It's got to be something that doesn't keep the chair from moving too much, but keeps it from moving a little bit. So that's what I need. That's what I need to do. I'll look into the math thing. I didn't hear back from Sofa King. What happened to Sofa King? Let me show you Eddie's uh, video because I watched it and it was good. Eddie, what is the latest? Eddie went to this place called Arizona, which is like a very popular wildlife park in Arizona. Like you drive through it and stuff. I liked his video. You should uh, check it out. I just posted a link to it. Uh, do we ever hear from Sofa King or not? Then I'll answer Sofa's question. A uh, Digi watches Eddie's videos too. Uh, so there's Eddie right there, and then he goes to Bay Arizona. And he sees some bears in Bay Arizona. Sofa King said, yes, you never answered my question, Sofa King. Eddie's channel is called Country Road Entertainment. Factual Fatal is here. Uh, Arizona has 11,000 reviews on Google Maps. Anyways, to answer Sofa King's question, which Sofa King did not answer, because I said, no, you didn't answer it. It's the wrong answer. The right answer is, well, agenda-free TV covers big breaking news stories. So if it turns out that the storm is big breaking news and lots of big breaking news things are happening and related to the storm, then agenda-free TV will cover it. Otherwise, if it's not a big breaking news story and not a lot of big breaking news things are happening in relation to the storm, then Agenda Free TV won't cover it. That is the correct answer. And generally speaking, any single question you have of the form, is Agenda Free TV covering X, will have the same answer. Um, April says, I have to catch up on Eddie's videos. Randy says, subscribe to Eddie's channel. It's a good channel. 
Eddie, what's going on with your... So you're not having the surgery yet? Eddie needs hip surgery. I believe if I remember right. Eddie, what is going on? Craig Doherty is here. MJ2 theory, I don't even know what is the what is with the people using this chat as the customer service chat for Jennifer TV. I don't understand. This isn't the Jennifer TV customer service channel. Maybe we'll hear back from Eddie. Is Nightbot working again, I hope? Nightbot, maybe? Thanks, Kinetic. Kinetic, send it to me on X. That would be good. I really need to fix this whole situation. With my Once I'm done with my taxes, I'll fix this situation. I, I, my taxes are a whole pain because, like, I work for myself and it's this whole thing. So it's just a pain in the butt. It's it's just it's never it's always so much such a time suck. I don't even I mean I have I pay someone to help me, but it's still a giant time suck. Um once that's done I can deal with this stuff down here. I just I can't do it all at once. Walter Beasley says I know. It's a big pain in the butt. Um so I got to get that done, and then I can focus on the other things. Oh, thanks, by the way, to um, Crypto King. Yeah, I agree, Crypto King. Thank you so much to our mods. Our mods are the best. Thanks, Crypto King. Thanks, mods. Um, BZ... Raven Riley, um, J A and P, all of our mods. I'm sure I'm missing people too. K Body. I think Polly came by. I thought I saw Polly there. I have to go back and look. Hey, Polly, what's happening? Hey, thanks to our new member, Paul G. Paul G says, we here in California always have storms in winter. Yeah, we'll see how big it, what this one is. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye on it. Hey, thanks for the gift memberships, Polly. Wow, guys, Polly just gave a bunch of you memberships. Look at that. Look at all the new members, thanks to Polly. Better thank Polly if he gave you a membership. Govna is here. Cloud99 is here. Uh, Eddie said, what did Eddie say? Oh, that's right. Uh, Eddie says, I kind of cover what's going on in general in the beginning of the video, Steve shared. Yeah, check out Eddie's video and you can see what, he, what his, his latest is. Eddie says it's delayed until I lose some of the weight I've put on as a result of not being able to walk, so no clue when that'll happen. That stinks. He needs the surgery to fix his hip. Uh, thank you to Rage Quit Now for your kind words and your support. I really appreciate it. Rage Quit Now. Thank you. And thank your wife, too, if she watches. Looks like she might watch. Thank you, Rage Quit Now. If she doesn't, that's okay, no. That's okay, though. B 
Bob Messina. Yeah, Eddie says out of work on top of it. Oh, Eddie. I did like your video. I really hope you can get your surgery soon, Eddie. I have another friend who needs that surgery. He needs a hip replacement, too. Stinks. No, actually, he needs a knee replacement. He can hardly walk. Cajun shrimp is here. The shelves, I can't even remember. Where do we get the shelves? <laughs> I, it's some big place that sells shelves. I can't remember at the moment. Is it down here? Oh, oh no. Is this it? No, this is for the desk. Oh, I thought this was for the shelves. I can't remember. Ask me in like a half hour, see if I remember that. <laughs> yeah, MJ says shelves are us. It wasn't Amazon, it's some uh, company that specializes in these industrial shelving. If you go to the video where we put the shelves together, then you probably, I probably say it in that video. Global Industrial. I got it at Global Industrial. Actually, to be, to be clear, Uh, Sean TV got one of them, and then Anonymous Other Viewer got the other one. Very nice of them. Yeah, these are they're pretty. These are pretty big. These are pretty big. I mean, I like. I really like them for this purpose. Uh, if you're looking for just a shelf to use at home, I mean, they can work for you, but they're pretty big. They're wide and they're heavy and they're tall. See, I keep having to. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the, I gotta fix the chair situation soon. Once I get my taxes done. They are big. I mean, they're over. They're probably seven feet tall. Amy is here. S. Cub says Home Depot has some cool shelving units. They probably have some similar ones to these. You know, what we got to do is I have here, I have here um, a package I need to open because it's a different hoodie. Uh, I mentioned on the year I was going to get an agenda. For, I, I said I probably should get an agenda free ZV zip hoodie because because I don't. Uh, someone said put a towel. I wonder as a temporary fix, could I just put a towel behind this chair as a temporary fix? I don't know if that will really work, though. I mean, really temporary for like the purpose of this stream. Like, could I just, probably to be a full, pretty wide towel, though. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll go grab one. Hold on. I don't know if I have one in the next room. I have one in here. Go get 
I'm going to go get one. So give me a minute. Be back, be back in one minute, all right? I'm, I'm going to get a towel. I, I need a minute to get a towel. Give me a minute. All right, just behave, your, behave yourselves in the chat while I'm gone, okay? Please be behave yourselves in the chat while I'm gone. See, the chair rolled away again. It rolled away again, see? Same thing. This is never going to work. Oh, it might work. Might work. Might, for the purposes of this stream, it might work. I think it does. It's not rolling back right now. I mean, it's kind of a clumsy solution but it's something but if I go to this it rolls to the side it's not the chair's fault stop please stop blaming the chair 
It's not the chair, it's gravity. You're blaming the chair for gravity. The towel is sort of helpful. Yes, April says the chair is innocent. Um, what was I going to say? I do, I, I want to open the... Um, Package because I, I have a hoodie in the package. Oh, thanks to Terry Workman. Wow. Thanks for the sticker, Terry Workman. Lovely sticker with lemon and baby lemon. Thanks, Terry. I think I probably owe a couple thank yous here. What was I looking up? What was I looking up? The towel is like a beige. It was the same it was the same towel I was using under the cold closet door until I got the door stopper. Same one same one. Oh, I think I did a review of this hoodie. I don't know if they have it posted. Maybe I didn't do a video a review of this one. I thought I did. I'm not seeing it on Amazon though. Hmm. I know I did a review of this one. I find it, it's, here it is. I love my, first of all, I'm gonna post the link to my hoodie. But then I'm gonna show you my video review. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. I just, um, how do I do this? There's a way, what am I doing? Ready? I love my Lai Wang fleece hoodie. This is the gray one. Seriously, I do love it. It's uh, one of my favorite hoodies. I wore it all last winter. It is so soft. It's fleece. I mean, look at, isn't it cool that it has a black uh, inside of the hood? I think that's super neat. Um, also, the inside is all of this gray fleece soft stuff. Here, look, I'll open it up for you. It's all soft fleece stuff and even in the arms too. So it's cozy and it's soft. And I love the black inside of the hood. It's great. And uh, it's just cool. You know, it's not crazy. It's it's interesting but not crazy. That's what I that's what I like in clothing. Interesting but not crazy. So comfy, soft inside, soft, cool black hood. Uh, I recommend it. It's lasted me lasted me all last winter, and I'm gonna wear it again this winter. I think that's a pretty well done review myself. It's weird, you know, sometimes you may, I, I have some Amazon videos like that. Right now, I don't see that on the page, on the product page. It should be on the product page. Amazon's weird with the videos. Sometimes they have them posted and sometimes they don't. But they should have that video posted on the product page.
People would want to see that video. Oh, they do. See, you know what? I was signed in. It's so weird. I'm signed in on one browser and they don't have it. But here it is. Like, if here's here's another. See the Amazon page right here? Look. Hold on. Now what? Hold on. Here's the page. Oh, look. There it is. Down there. They list it if you change the color. That's still there. All right. Anyways. So, so the, hood, the, the towel is, is, is doing something. It's at least keeping the thing from totally rolling back. Yeah, I don't know how many, I, I could look up how many people have used the vid, viewed the vid, but I, it's a little bit of a pain too, so I'm not going to do it at the moment. Um, Sylvia S. is here. Thanks to Zach A. What's my favorite cryptocurrency? My favorite cryptocurrency? I don't know that I have a favorite. I kind of feel like they're... All maybe a bit overvalued, but I don't want to get into the get into that right now. Polly says the guy doing the review has a mannequin. By the way, do not rely on me for investment advice. This is not a financial advice channel. I do not want you to take my investment advice. Geez, finally is here. I'm going to open my new hoodie in a second. Kinetic sent me this link to a site called Service Caster. Compression brake casters prohibit rolling when weight is applied. The problem with this is I want to be able to roll when I'm sitting it in it. I just don't want to be able to roll when I'm sitting still. But I didn't know they had these. That's interesting. Thank you, Kinetic. Uh, not blank sent me an article on how to stop your office desk chair from rolling. But again, I think I'm just going to, one of the tips was try a rug or a mat underneath. So I may try that. Thank you. Not blank for sending that along. Mr. Malibu says, if you cover the storm and I have power, I'll try to send some photos and videos. Thanks. Stay safe, Mr. Malibu. The thing people are talking about is the big rainstorm. That's uh, heading for Southern California. There, I, I, I posted about it on my X account. 
you can see right there. Sunday, Monday, I believe. But don't hold me to it. If you live in the area, check the, uh, check the latest local forecast. They have a forecast that says, um, hold on. Oops. Let's see, it has Northridge with six inches, LA with like five inches, Santa Barbara with six inches. These are huge totals, if that happens. So we'll have to see. Yes, Big Pine Mountain, 10 inches. T-Sky is here. Maria Madrigal will get footage tomorrow. Thanks to our new member, Sylvia S., by the way. Thanks, Sylvia S. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on it. I hope everybody stays safe. Tim Finefrock is here. Buddy01 is here. Uh, over there on Twitch, Bubba Twitcher is here. No, I don't want deep shag carpet. I don't like sitting on, standing, sitting on it. But thanks, Bubba Twitcher. Uh, Marlon Rando is here. Thanks, Marlon Rando. Yeah, we are busy this week. Aaron Weirdo is here. Lil Cam is here. You know, my Florida gifted a subscription to Quirk Sugar Plum over there on Twitch. Thanks, my Florida. My Florida subscribed on Twitch. Oh, thanks, my Florida. My Florida 22. It's my FL. I'm just assuming it means Florida. Slothy esque is here on Twitch. Quirk Sugar Plum is here. Pumpkin Press. Nixa AU is here over there on Twitch. The HBIC is here on Twitch. Los Goddess de Wilson is here on Twitch. All right, we got it. Um, No, I don't use the Stanley cups, but I know some people do that Stanley vacuum sealed cup thing, which is all the rage these days. I'll put maybe I'll put a prediction on the sign for the Super Bowl later. I think the Chiefs are going to win. Ali Baba thinks that Stanley is overrated. What do those cost now? I don't even know. I don't even know what they cost. The Stanley Cups. At Amazon, it's not crazy for a for a for a, like a higher end water bottle. Oh, it's this one, right? It's like the $45 one. That's what it is. I mean, it's not insane, insane. I mean, it's expensive. But they even have the 30-ounce ones. Yeah, I mean, it's like th I see one for like $38. On Amazon or whatever, forty-five dollars. I don't know. I'll just. I'll. You can go look yourself. 
I don't I don't know about these things. I've never had one, and I have enough water bottles. So, but uh, I, I not of you know what I'm talking about. But I'll put a link to it. This thing, right? Hold on, hold on a second here. That's what I'm on his Amazon associate here for qualifying purchases. That's the one I'm talking about. They come in 30 ounce and 40 ounce. If you're if you want to look into it. Kevin Wolf says they look great. They have lead in them. You know, look into the lead thing. Uh, don't hold me to this, but the lead story is that I guess they have some lead on the bottom underneath part of the bottom part and the only way you're exposed to it according to the articles i read was if the part of the bottom of your of your um of of your cup actually falls off of it uh literally the bottom falls off some of it then if you touch it you could get exposed it's not on the inside uh, but don't again that's my memory of an article i read but my point is with the lead stuff read for yourself there's all this hullabaloo about the lead in it about it having lead in it but it's not that it has like lead in all the material or something so just if if you're concerned about it please get an article and actually read the article and don't hold me to it cuz i'm just summarizing from memory an article I read and I might have gotten it wrong. Um, and also, if I remember, the article I read said that like other, numerous other, it's not made different than like numerous other water bottles. But I, I, don't, I don't have all the details handy with me. I'm not going to get into it right now. Cruella likes the color I showed. Anyways, these things are like all the rage now, I guess. Or I don't know if the lead stuff has affected them, but again, I don't I don't really want to get into all the details here. If you Google lead Stanley Cups, you will find different articles about it. You can read them there. April says, if a person's car explodes, the drink stays cold. Isn't that what happened? It like went viral because like a car had an accident and the cup was still inside or something. Rick says, it's all the rage with the kids. You know, adults like it too, Rick. <laughs> MJ2 Theory says, can I cite this? No, do not cite what I say. Governor says, I work with teachers. Every single one of them has one. Pat W. said, car burned up, still had ice in cup. There's a good CNBC video about how, um, how the story of these cups, which I'll actually pull, I, I'm not, I can't show it, but I'll, I'll, I'll post the link to that video. I'm going to post a link to that video right now. So if you want to watch it, get a background, watch this video. How Stanley turned a 110-year-old water bottle into a $750 million business. You can, after you watch Eddie's video, you can watch this and get the whole story. Jacob Enders is here. Hey, MJ gave five people memberships. Thanks, MJ. Make sure you thank somebody if they give you a membership. Five memberships from MJ. Pops, Terry Rose, Dina May, Libra Moon and William Cromer. Get Set says, I have the large Stanley. It's super heavy. I 
think Marty Hagwood came by. Rage quit now. I like me I like mentioning stuff if I like it. KD616 is here. Deb is here. SNL had a Stanley skit. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. What was the premise? Looks Maxer is here. Hey, can we, let's open the hoodie. KD six six. I think I said KD six sixteen is here. Ugh, I gotta finish my taxes. I'm just dreading it. I've been. It's such a pain in the butt. It's a giant pain in the butt. Also, I like for work, deal with these social media companies. And if they mess something up in one of your tax forms, it's such a pain to get it corrected. Oh. Thanks, Darren. No, I have somebody do my taxes, but I still need to gather all the information myself. You wouldn't think it would take a long time, but it does. You would not, you, it, it's, it's a whole thing. Gotta gather all my different in, info. Sherry Riddles here from British Columbia. The one I really like uh, my accountant person. He's great, super nice guy. The one thing I wish he would do is you literally have to mail him every piece of paper. Like some accountants have this thing where you can do a secure thing, so you don't have to, you don't have to email it. But they have like a secure upload where you can say, "Here are my tax forms. I'm going to upload them to you." And it's just he's old school. But I mean, he's it's a let that be the the bad thing. Let that be the one bad thing. Yeah, I had a previous person who you could just upload everything. Gov, no, that's news-related. We don't talk about that here. That's not for this channel. Get set. Yeah, I felt earthquakes when I lived in California. Oh, geez, finally says, I got my AFTV beanie. I love it. Nice. Awesome. Enjoy, use it well. Enjoy it. Uh, heart side of the mods can put a link to the merch and you can check out the hats. Speaking of merch, speaking of merch, I got to open this box. Um, I was talking a few streams ago about, I was saying, oh, I have an Agenda Free TV hoodie and I don't have the uh, zip hoodie. I have the pullover hoodie. And I said, I like it. And I said, at one point I said, maybe I'll get the zip hoodie too or something like that, or I should probably get the zip hoodie. But I was like, it, I, we didn't really spend much time on it. I was just mentioning that I had the um, the regular hoodie. Um, and uh, 
Wai Chin, actually, one of our viewers, Wai Chin, sent a donation in and said, use this to buy a zip hoodie. So Wai Chin basically bought me a zip hoodie, which was very nice of Wai. <laughs> so I didn't even have a chance to get it. But it's here. Yeah, so I'm going to open it now. I'm going to see if it fits. So the thing is, my 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 pullover hoodie was a large. And I I thought I'd try. It's weird with clothes, with tops sometimes and hoodies. Sometimes I'm a medium. Sometimes I'm a large. I'd say more times I'm a large. But once in a while, I'm a medium. It just depends on the, on the clothes item, to be honest. Um, so... This could be too small. I decided to try the medium and see how that was, but it might be too small. So I'm going to try it right now. We'll see how it is. Linda Forsyth has a zip hoodie. Terry has a zip hoodie. They both like them. Let's do that. I'm going to check the news for two seconds, and then we'll open that. Because I was going to wear it on this stream. I just uh, haven't opened it yet. Crispy is here. Daryl Nauman says, I bought one of the Sherpa hoodies you have. Love it. Awesome. Those are great. Very warm. Wendy Cookie is here. She says she doesn't like pullovers. Too claustrophobic. She Clicks Bricks is here. Terry Alexander is here. We used to have underwear. I don't think, I think they're basically out. Fabulegs used to sell them, but I think they're, they're, they've like run out of them. Okay, so I'm going to show the link to the hoodie. Our mods can post the, uh, the, 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 the uh, merch link again. That'd be great. Thank you, mods. Um, let's see here. I got it. I got a navy blue one. Maybe I should get a black one. Nah. Here it is. I'll put the link in the chat. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Oops. One moment here, please. One moment, please, folks. Just need to do something real quick. Oops. Yeah, I, I price the stuff so that I, like I make like a dollar or a dollar or fifty on it. I don't kind of try to price it kind of as close to as cheap as I can. Maverick is here. What 
did I just do? What did I just do? Did I put the right link in the chat for the... Uh, For the zip hoodie or not? I think I maybe didn't. Or did I? One way to find out. Yes, I did put the right wing in the chat. Okay, the right, uh, the right uh, link in the chat. There we go. Okay. Okay, get ready. Oh, thanks. Get set. Toward my new hoodie, but the thing is, I. But thank you, get get set. But the thing is, you must have missed when I explained like ten minutes ago why Chin already paid for it. Our viewer, why Chin? I can put that for forward to if any if I buy any other other merch from my own channel. Hey, thanks, it get set. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna be navy blue. I'm gonna open it right now. I hope it fits. Sarah is here. Ross Rasa. Okay, here we go. So I think this is it. Is this it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. I got it. This is it right here. So now I got the medium. I think it's going to be too small. I'm going to have to exchange it. Lanyard. Maybe one day. I don't think any of these companies I work with makes a lanyard. Rob says, hope it fits. So I'm going to try doing, I tried medium. This may have been stupid, but I just figured I'd try it because I just didn't know how they saw, how the zip hoodies size. Wow, I've never had on my own zip hoodie. Okay, here it is. Hey, that looks sharp. That looks kind of sharp. But will it fit? I like it though. I mean, I already have the I already have the non-zip one. MJ says I hope it fits too. Well, we'll see if it do, if it doesn't fit, I can exchange it for a large one. And then we'll do the opening of the large one. The large will definitely be a lot big enough. I just don't know if this will be big enough. All right. With sweaters, sometimes I'm a large and sometimes I'm a medium. Oh, I've had, is it my first zip hoodie? Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly it is not my first zip hoodie. I think it's going to be too small. Cherry Cola says I'm wearing a pink one. Well, I'm giving it a try. You know, the, the, arm, the arm is not too small. The arm length is good. So that's something. It's certainly not too small in the arm. Yeah, the arm length is great. Will the body be tight? There's so many aspects to it. You know what? I it's weird. It's like, let me see. 
hold on. It's 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 going to be close. It's going to be close. So it's not. It's certainly not huge. Um, I think it might work. It's the arms are good. See, the arms are def The arms are not too long. The arm length is great. It feels maybe a little bit tight in here, but I'm also used to having big ones. I think I'm going to keep it. Why Chin sent this? I think it's fine. I think for my purposes, it's fine. I mean, the, the problem is, if I get a large, the large will give me some more room in here, but the arms will be, I think, a little too long on the, lar on, on, on the large. They'll be a little too big. I might be wrong, though. But these arms, the, look at the length of the arms. Can you see the length of the arms? I mean, the arms are clearly long enough. You see what happens? Everything's, it's the arms, and then there's the chest, and then there's everything. I can't, if I, if I watch this, I couldn't dry it, though it would be too small. You know, the pullover I have, the pullover I have is, a med, is, a lar, is I think, a large, which is fine. It just, it depends on the item. I really like it though. Look at the bat. Thank you to Y Chin. Wow, Y Chin got me this. MJ likes it. Sylvia S likes it. Deb N likes it. Yeah, arm factor is a big deal. It's I have sometimes have stuff where it's like it fits well in the body, but not the arms, and it just looks stupid. Um, Megatron likes it. Kim likes it. There's the whole logo on the bed. Will it shrink? I bet it. It's it's um, eighty percent cotton, twenty percent polyester. I don't know, but I don't. With my hoodies, I don't dry them. I don't put them in the dryer. It might shrink in the dryer. I don't know how, it might mess it up. It's like a decal. This is not embroidered, it's a decal kind of thing. It's not stitched in. Yeah, I'm, keep, I'm keeping this one. This is great. I really appreciate, um, oh, you know what? Hang on one second here. Hold on, hold on. It's weird. It's just, I'm so used. I do like, you know, I like having a lot of room. So it depends on it, sizing wise for me. Like, again, the arms are good. It's just, if I had a large, I think I'd like the room in here because it'd, it'd be more like baggy. Probably wouldn't fit as well, but the arms would be too big. This is cool though. I do like that it has this little thing here. I like the uh, the the little the logo. I should make t-shirts like this where it's just the corner logo t-shirt. Uh I posted the link already. I'll post it again to this. As an Amazon associate, I am for qualifying purchases. Oops, that didn't work. That did not work. It has a hood. It does have a hood. See? The hood, the hood works. The hood works. I could just do the whole stream like this. The hood is clearly big enough. I like small logos. I think a t-shirt would look good with the logo the way it is.
Anyways, thanks again to Y Chin. I'm very excited to have my, my hoodie now. My zip hoodie. Look at this. I can zip and unzip it. Baseball jerseys. Again, it's, it's all about whether the company makes them or not. Yeah, zip it. Exactly. All right. Well, this is exciting. I'm excited to be wearing my hoodie. My zip hoodie. Um, French elections? I don't anticipate covering them. I don't really know anything about them. But I'm not planning on covering them. Sorry, I was just getting caught up on the news here. Yeah, here's this post um, from National Weather Service Los Angeles. Oops. Uh, it's kind of hard for you guys to see this. It says, Santa Barbara rain timing Sunday 6 a.m. to... Monday, 6 a.m. Ventura, roughly that. I mean, for the main rain. Then L.A., it says Sunday. Six a.m. to noon, it looks like it says starting. I got I got to open this up, actually. I got to make it bigger. See what it says? It's raining, rain timing. Uh, Santa Barbara starts Sunday, 6 a.m. to noon. Ventura starts Sunday, 6 a.m. to noon. Los Angeles starts Sunday, noon to 6, 6 p.m. So I'll keep an eye on that. There's huge news. We'll cover it. I'll keep an eye on it. Darren says it's supposed to rain in here. SoCal Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Biz says no rain north of L.A. yet. Biz R says that. No, I haven't watched Napoleon yet. It's not streaming. Okay, I'll be keeping an eye on it. It 
Sylvia S. says, that's why I did all my errands today. By the way, thanks again to our mods, K Body, uh, Raven Riley, J A and P, Linda Bell. K Linda Bell is here. Hi, Linda. Our viewer Hans Nisk Iska Tuki is here in Twitch. BB fan is here in Twitch. Nezo Man is here on Twitch. Oh, Sarah is modding for us on Twitch as well. Thanks, Sarah. Frosted Mini Wheels is here on Twitch. Rocksterity is here on Twitch. There's Sarah. Oh. Uh, Victor Gannon is here. Let's see, we'll do a couple other things here. Now, I will say this. It's not really a complaint. It's, it's just so you know. This hoodie, which I really like, the AFTV one, it's not as warm as this one because this is like, this is, this is not, this is a fleece hoodie with flea stuff inside. So this is a bit warmer than this. It's a nice hoodie. This is more of a lighter hoodie. It's like a cotton polyester hoodie. April Coco says next week is the Taylor Bowl. I'm picking the Chiefs. Linda says her AFTV hoodie is all she needed for her Texas winter. Birds in Flight says, I like that hoodie. So good for our Texas weather. Linda's in Odessa, Texas. Hey, thanks, Berenico. Berenico gave five people memberships. Thanks so much, Berenico. Berenico, I feel like it used to say you were in Hong Kong, and now it doesn't say that anymore. Maybe you're somewhere else. Anyways. I might want to order, uh, open one or two other things here, too. Veronica's in Hong Kong, yep. Yep, very cool. Sarah says, I don't want a bad storm to bother our eagles at Big Bear Lake. The female Jackie just laid three eggs. Wow. Connor Murphy is here. You know what, give me about 10 seconds. I need 10 seconds. I'm not even gonna mute anything. Give me 10 seconds. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I have the towel behind the chair right now, so it's doing something. It's doing something. Hang on.
Okay. I did want to mention, I don't know if Kimberly Barr is still watching. Kimberly asked about the trip. I thought I was going away this week, but I'm not going away this week. I thought that I was. That is, that is, that is on hold. That is not happening right now. Just in case you were wondering. I do want to go away soon, though. I do want to go away soon. Um, then also, I really want to go to Europe, too, at some point. I got to just plan it. The other thing I can do, because my work, well, it's not totally flexible. But, you know, I have my laptop, so I could go somewhere um, and kind of do a thing where I'm like, well, I'll work if there's news and just have it be in a different city. I mean, it's not as good as when I'm in my studio, but I can do a, you know, I can at least get a broadcast out. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, I could go if I, I can go, I can go another time if I want to. But, um, but, uh, you know, because of my work, I could go somewhere and just, When I've gone away the last couple of years, I brought my I, I my last year year and a half. I brought my laptop, but I've been pretty busy when I was away. And I was thinking, you know, another thing I could do is just go somewhere and be like, look, I'm going to cover news if it happens, but I'll just be in a different city. So it's like I'm maybe not doing as much touring around, but it you know it can defer the cost of the. Uh, of the of the trip and also that way I don't miss as much coverage so cuz I can do it you know so we'll see I'm going to I'm going to go somewhere at some point what's the point of vacation well you're not working 24 hours you know I just never done it like that. I've never done it. I've never gone away with, with the idea like, I'm going to go away, but I'm going to like cover news if it happens. Definitely. Because there's a bunch of places I'd like to go. Walter's well, just business vacation. Exactly, exactly. Working vacation. Um, Alden Rose is going to Hudson Valley for a month this summer and will work for remote for four days a week. Do we have any viewers? I was thinking like, I, I was thinking it'd be fun to go to Paris because I, I, I was there like 20 years ago or something. But like, I, do we have any viewers in France? I, we probably don't have many because I speak English. But some countries we have more viewers. But I couldn't think of like regular viewers we have in France. Did I do that in New York? April Coco, I mean, I had my computer with me, but I sort of, I, I ended up covering one or two things in New York, but I didn't cover everything that was news, and I kind of had a pretty full schedule there. Chucky's Chicklets going to Norway. That's fun.
Perinico says Singapore. That would be interesting. Yeah, I'd like to go to Australia sometime. It's a long trip. It's a long trip there. Susan's going to France this summer. April Coco likes Italy. You know, I've never been to Italy. I'd like to go there too. So many places. That's the thing is, there's so many places I want to go. So it's like if you don't, if I don't make myself go, I'm not going to go. <laughs> you know. That's another reason I was thinking about the like, well, you could go and kind of. You go, but you bring your work stuff with you and. You cover news if it's happening when you're there. Uh, let's see. You see 98 is here over on Twitch. I mean, in terms of, you know, in terms of log logistics, in a bunch of places, it's not that hard to go. You get a plane ticket and you get a place to stay and you just go, right? You just go. Now, you can make it lesser and more complex when you get there. But if it's a city, you know, you can, you don't even need a car. You just get a place to stay and a plane ticket and you go. No, uh, most a lot of places you don't need a visa. A lot of places you just have your passport and just go. Marty, I didn't know Marty was in Mississippi. Marty's in Mississippi, where Kay is. April Coco says, we did a Rome, Florence, and Venice trip was perfect. Well, maybe I'll try that at some point. I, I might, I might try at some point doing the thing where I just buy a ticket somewhere and I get a place to, you know, to sleep and have my computer. And I just go and I don't make a lot of plans for when I get there. And the idea is like, if there's a lot of news, I'll just cover it when I'm there. And it's a way to, you know, see another place, but you're not like not working. So it's something I'll I'll look into. I was just in London a year ago. And AH says, I love visiting Florence, slept at a convent summertime when the nuns school. Japan's expensive. I, I don't know, but Japan might not be that expensive, actually. I'd like to go to Japan. Mm, I couldn't write it off of my taxes. I couldn't write off taking the trip unless it was really like a business, like if I was a travel channel, I could. No, a trip where you're working while on the trip is different than a going somewhere to do something for work. Carlos, no message tonight so far. No, I'll put something on there at some point, but nothing, nothing so far. 
Maria says, sometime not planning everything is a good thing. It's also di a different kind of trip. You know, like, if you go somewhere with someone else or or a group of people, you know, you're going to be with that group of people and you're going to kind of commit to doing a bunch of different things. If I were to just go somewhere myself, I could just be like, I'm going to cover any news that happens. I'll, I'll, do, some, I'll do a bunch of Lookner streaming because I'll be walking around anyway. Um, and uh, so I could actually, it's not like I'd, I'd be taking work off the whole week. Then it helps pay for some of the trip. So, uh, you know, it's a way to go to make it a bit more affordable because you're not taking, you're not just taking a week off of work. Susan went on a solo trip in Israel. I just, I like traveling and it's like, I don't think I do it enough. But I always like, I'm like oh, I don't want to not work at all. What do I do is work? <laughs> Sofa King, you don't know about the other channel? You do know about the other channel. Jeez, Sofa King. LG TV is here. I watched a good video that I really liked by this guy he made several, a few years ago where he basically took a trip to Hawaii and he like brought he did he did work with him on the road but he wanted to go to Hawaii so he just went and he got a room where he could do some work while he was there and something he said in the video was like you know sometimes you just got to do something a little outside your comfort zone and challenge yourself so it's like this is the kind of thing like if I if I did one of these trips how bad's it going to be I don't think it's going to be that bad. So, you you know, you're not going to know until you try doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Berenico, that's very nice of you, Berenico. Berenico says, small contribution to Japan or Hong Kong trip. Japan maybe one day. Japan's a whole thing. And Hong Kong's a whole thing, too. I'd love to go. That's a little bit more of an involved thing. Such a long trip. I'll go at some point to Japan because I really want to go. I'd love to go to Hong Kong too. I think if I went to a place like that, though, that's a little different. That's not. That's going to be a place where I don't. I, I want to be like, oh, I'm just going to like do lots of stuff. I don't think I'd want to be like. Oh, I'll just go to Japan, and if there's lots of news, I'll just cover the news while I'm there. Thank you, Berenico. I, I look, the thing, the, again, the thing is, is that if you don't go, you're not going to go. <laughs> I really, I, I, I really like going places, and it's like, you got to make, nobody's going to do it for you. You got to make yourself do it. But again, I can work when I go to places. Uh, oh, thanks, Susan. That's very kind of you, Susan. So, you know, given that I'm not going away this week, maybe I'll just schedule something. Famous last words, how bad could it be? Now, I don't like committing to doing a daily segment at a given time. Usually I'm on most days anyway, but 
I like just going on when 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 I, you know when the news is big, I go cover that. When I feel like doing this, instead I do that. No, no, I'm not doing the Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rico trip is not happening right now. I won't get all into that, but it's just it's not happening. So I did I did Montreal last year. Another thing, see, I've never tried this. Another thing about if I were to just go somewhere myself and take my computer, you know, for like a week, and I wasn't committed to like being in a group of people, um, I certainly could spend more time doing some streams on this channel. Because usually when I go away, I, I, when, I've let, when I've gone away the last couple of years, I've had not much time to do stuff on this channel. I tried two different poutines in Montreal. I liked it. Anyways, I'll think about it. Polly wants to meet for a trip to Hawaii. That's what Polly. Polly, this was your dream. Polly's dream was the meet and greet in Hawaii. <laughs> didn't you suggested that last time, didn't you, Polly? Maybe one day. I don't think I'd like a cruise. I think I'd feel too claustrophobic. MJ wants to go to New Guinea again. Wow, that's neat. Biz says Waikiki is fun. Yeah, I don't think Hawaii is cheap. <laughs> Polly says it would be so much fun. I need motivation for the plane ride. I see, I see. I'm sure it'd be fun. I'm going to recommend that video I watched. It was a good video, but the, the guy talked about going to Hawaii by himself, and he just did it. He wanted to go, so he just went. Um, his name is Tech something. Yeah, I, I think it's a really good video. It's just, it's it's very thoughtful, this video. I'll, I'll post a link to it, but um, it's interesting. Again, he just wanted to go. So he's just like, I'm going to go. I'm going to get a hotel room and just go. It's called, it's, oops, where is it here? Why is it not? Oh, I see what's going on. No, I don't see. Why is it all close up now? Oh, I know why it's close up now. That's not, you're looking at the wrong video. Yeah, right there, why you need to travel alone. It's just, an, it's a very interesting video. That's the guy right there. His name is Tech Lead. I think that's a link to it. Name is Tech Lead. I just found the video. It was really interesting. Linda says, so easy to do if you're alone, no encumbrances. Carlos loved his 10-day Mediterranean cruise. MJ said she saw that video last year. T. 
this guy thinks it's either easier as a man than a woman. Well, I mean, it depends on where you're going, maybe. And I feel like I'm always telling you guys places I want to go, though. <laughs> Rick says, most of my regrets are over what I haven't done. I probably should make myself do it. I should just make myself do it. Maybe when the Middle East stuff is a little more calm, uh, I'll just be like, you know what? I'm going to go to this place, and I'll bring my computer, and I'll cover news if it happens, and I'll do I'll do streaming. Yeah, April says Netherlands is fun. Th that's one. I've talked about doing that because we have a couple of viewers there, so I might do that as well. Holly says, I'll end up doing a cruise like I always do. I want to stop what's do what's comfortable all the time. Polly, if the issue is flying, because that's an issue for a lot of people, maybe the issue, maybe the solution is kind of attacking that. Because that'll free you up. And you it can be done. It's just it's a it's a you know it's a process. But there's a lot of people who don't like to fly. Yeah, Luann says, do these things when you're young because sometimes you are unable to as you age. Hey, Don Coven is modding too. We should do it. I should just do it. Once I get once I get my tax, what I need to do is just is just like book a trip. That's what I, I just need to like just book it and be like that's it. Um, once I get my taxes done, and I, I just I don't want to do anything. Uh, I, I don't want to do anything when um, this Middle East stuff. It's like who knows what's going to happen. Uh, so, you know, I've never done that. I've never taken like a, a longer trip. I don't think I ever took a longer trip by myself. I was always like with a group or with somebody or meeting somebody wherever I was going or whatever. Certainly overseas. Baron Nico says, check the hardest karaoke song in the world, Iceland Tourism promo. You know, I went to Iceland once with like 80 people, like 80 friends. I'll have to check out that after. Rick likes Hawaii a lot. What was Sky's idea? I didn't see it. I went to Taiwan for three weeks, like eight years ago. It was great. I mean, I knew somebody there who lived there, so... Uh, that was really cool, though. That was super cool. That wasn't like a work trip, though. I wasn't doing any work on that trip. I did a, actually when I was I was in grad school at the time, and I was teaching, helping. I was teaching a class, so I actually did do a little grading there when I was there. But for the most part, I didn't. Yeah, theater. I think Paris is realistic. The nice thing about a place like Paris, I feel like, or city, is if I'm there, 
it's easy to like go do stuff and then if there's news and I got to get back and work, it's I won't be that far away. And then if I finish work, I can just go out and do stuff, you know. The agenda free mug, um, it's not at the YouTube store. The mods will post a link to it. Yeah, Linda says knowing a local person is the best way to see anything. It is good. Uh, I do want to order, open this piece of junk mail. I got some junk mail. This looks like some sort of supplement. Um, from Supernus Pharmaceuticals. Supernus Pharmaceuticals sent me something to my UPS box. So we're going to open this junk mail right now. Oh, Sarah just posted the link to the mug. Thank you. Caliph went to the USSR. When it was the USSR, I went to Russia a long time ago. Emily Brooke, there's a bunch of places in the US I'd like to go. Different cities. I am not going to be traveling for the eclipse, Roland. Sorry. I think some people I know might. Maybe some of you said you will. All right, let's see what this let's see what this junk mail is. says will be viewable in northern Maine. I can't even open this thing. I got to figure out how to open it. NASA science. Total eclipse 2024. Where and when? The total solar eclipse, eclipse will be visible along a, stra a, a, a track stretching from Texas to Maine on April 8th. I'll post a link to this. Sherry wanted to see the Grand Canyon always. I'm sure, that would be cool. Josh Leach is here. Okay, I don't know what this is. This feel this feels like a real pharmaceutical thing. It's again, it's from a pharmaceutical company. I did not order anything from them. Either they sent it to me as a free sample or somebody sent it to me who was watching the channel or something. So this is a whole thing. It's like a whole case. I don't know what this is. What is this, guys? Uh, I'm not taking it, by the way. I ain't, I ain't taking it. But I don't even know what it is. What do we think this is? Got a plastic thing. P 
Polly says spinner. I don't think it is. Um, it is. It is Kelbrevyloxazine. Hey, look, someone sent me uh, Kelbrevyloxazine. Is it a spinner? Oh, they did send me a spinner. Maybe it's a spinner with like the brand name on it. Okay, just to like promote it. Oh, this is a spinner. Hey, that's fun. Kind of looks fun on the screen. What, what is this? No, they didn't even give me a sample. They, uh, so it, was, it wasn't a free sample. It's a spinner. I got a spinner. What? Kelby. All right, this stuff. Kelbrevyloxazine is a prescription medicine used to treat ADHD in adults and children six years and older. So basically, I got a fidget spinner. Yes. Hey, uh, chat doctor, chat doctor, April Coco says it's for HDH, ADHD. Chat doctor, April Coco is right. Anyways. There's none of it in here. So I got sent a fidget spinner. I've had chat doctor April Coco gets these all the time. Someone thinks you have ADHD maybe, says April Coco. Jeez. <coughs> Things dance, it's like heavy. <coughs> Is this the logo for it? I don't even know. Small choking hazard, it says. All right. What did John say? John said... I use fidget spinners. BZ says they are not sending free samples of that. Terry thinks the spinner is better than taking the medicine. I know nothing about the medicine. Anyways. I'm going to open one other thing. CDC says HDHD is one of the most common neurodevelopmental disorders of childhood. It is usually first diagnosed in childhood, blah, blah, blah. Children with HDHT may have trouble paying attention, controlling impulsive behaviors, may act without thinking and what the result will be, and about, about what the result will be, or be overly active. Let's really say what it is. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. People with ADHD, says the CDC, may have trouble paying attention, controlling impulsive behaviors, may act without thinking about what the result will be, or be overly active. Although ADHD can't be cured, it can be successfully managed, and some symptoms may improve as the child ages. Okay. Give it to your niece. No, I don't think I'm giving this to anybody. I don't think anybody uh, I know personally wants this fidget spinner. But I'll use it on this one stream. Sarah said the anticipation for that package exceeded the actual event. Yeah. There is another thing I have here, though, that I do want to open, which is... So we have a, one more package I want to open tonight. And this was sent to me... Um, uh, a while ago. This was sent to be on November 24th. BZ wants it. I don't think I'm shipping this to anybody. The, the, uh, the spinner. Uh, I was sent this. I was sent this package on November 24th. And it was addressed. It, it, it's from Uncle Steve's Shake Company. Uncle Steve's Shake Company. Did somebody send me shake stuff? I don't know, but it's from Uncle Steve's Shake Company. 
Yeah, it does sound fishy. So I want to open this too. Albert Wesker is here. Uh, Double Vision Larry, I did not promote the drug. Double Vision Larry said, better look up the drug before you promote it. No, I didn't. Did I ever promote it once? No. I just told you they sent it to me. And that's what they said. I didn't promote it. Oh my gosh. Um, what is in here? This is... This is like a bunch of shake mix. Who sent me this? What is this? Oh, I thought by shake they meant like chocolate shake. I think it's, they, mean like, they mean like it's a rub. Did MJ send this? Oh, is MJ here? MJ, did you send this? Oh, MJ sent it. It's, it's like stuff you shake on meat. Like it says competition pig shake. Look at this. I got to go to their website. I got like a big box of shakes. There's like 10 of them in here. Uncle Steve shake takes just like Texas. Shake it all over every gator shake. There's, there's like 10 of these things in here. Wow, MJ. MJ got me all these shakes. Um, this is sweet, sweet in the spicier Texas shake. We'll try a couple right now. I know we should do a cooking show at some point. I've been so busy. I should try these when, when we do our... I have all this stuff we need to try cooking. The original tastes just like Texas Shake. There's a bunch of these. I think there's like four more. There's like five more. There's Competition Cow Shake. I assume that's for meat. Seasoning. I'm going to show you the website of this place. Bird Competition bird shake. If it flies, it fries, it says. Um, Lucky Shake all-purpose seasoning. I think there's 10 of them. MJ, thank you. This is really cool. The spicier tastes like Texas one. MJ, sorry I took so long to open this, but I got to it. Now I gotta try. And then this one is Uncle Steve's Shake Thick Meat. I guess that's Uncle Steve. Let's check out the website. And then there's one other thing in here. Oh, it's like a sauce. There's like a sauce in here. Jeez. Um, the sauce with no name, Uncle Steve's Shake. I, I gotta see if they have a, a website. Wow, MJ. I got all these. Oh, Shell says I've used a spicy one really good. I thought it was like somebody sent me mix to make like chocolate shakes or health shakes or something. Uh, let's see if I can find if they have a website. Yes, they have a website. I found their website. I'm going to post the link so you can see it. Here it is. Here's the website right there. Uncle Steve's Shake website. Wow, MJ. It's uh what which what does it say? It says there's all these different ones. Shop. 
Yeah, see, these are, these are various ones that they have. And there's a bunch of these that she sent me. Like she sent me the competition bird shake, and it says competition bird shake. If it flies, it fries, or smokes, or grills, or bakes. A little spice, a little heat, a little garlic, a little sweet, a little tang bang. So these are all seasonings. Wow, these look good. Oh, Amazon has them too? Really? Oh. Wow, hold on. Hang on. I'm going to try a couple right now. We, we do need to do, I told you, we, we're going to do a, um, a cooking stream because there's a bunch of stuff here I want to try. Then when we do that, I can use some of these, try some of these seasonings when we do that. I went to Amazon and I don't see Uncle Steve's Shake. I looked up Uncle Steve's Shake on Amazon. I don't see it. I don't see it there on Amazon. I kind of want to try, I want to taste one of them right now. But we really need to um, do a cooking stream soon. It's just been busy with the news. I'm going to taste this right now, the Uncle Steve's. I, yeah, I didn't, I, I, Susan says, is that a Texas thing to call seasoning shake? I've never heard of that before. Um, I got one of my little dishes here. I'm just gonna just taste a couple of these just to taste them. But we gotta we're gonna use them on the cooking stream. I can try all the stuff on the cooking stream. Uh, Linda says hubby loves the slap ya mama sauces. This is the original Uncle Steve's shake. Tastes like Texas. Shake it all over everything. All right. Am I opening it the right way? All right. I'm very trusting. I'm trying this. Oh, it's sealed. It looks like it's sealed on the top. Let's see. Is it sealed? Yes, there is plastic sealing on it. You have to take off the plastic seal. Just so you guys know, it is sealed. How do I get it off? Hmm. Get to lift this to take the lid off? I can tell there's plastic on it, but I don't see where to take the plastic off. Do I have to take this whole thing off? Oh, there it is. It's not the, oh, here. You take off this, and then this is plastic right here. See, plastic. You gotta take that piece of plastic off. Somehow. Right, I'm, gonna I'm gonna use my, my cutter to take the plastic off. It's a little bit of an issue. Oh, that's that's strong smelling, man. That smells strong. It's quite a thing. I'm going to taste a little on my, on my finger here. This is the Texas one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. It's like a, a hot, it's not crazy hot. It's like a seasoned salt. That's really nice. It's like a seasoned salt. Really good. I'm going to try a different one. 
This one's called this is the sweet and spicy Texas one. I'm gonna have to try these all on food. Yeah, Teresa says good on popcorn. It, it, it's, it seems like it would be good on anything. Uh oh. Now this one, the plastic is off. Tasting it anyway. Uh oh, crisis, crisis issue. Oh, it had that top. That that is on this one. That was the top, but it came off when I pulled it off. Okay. So I'm gonna try this sweet and spicy one. Uh, MJ says, I love all of Uncle Steve's seasonings. Let's try this one next. This is the Texas sweet and spicier. Ooh, hang on. Oh, that's nice. That is a little sweet. That's a little sweet, that one. This would also be great on popcorn. These are really good. That's really cool. Uh, what else do I want to try? I assume this one is for meat. Cow shake. Try this one. Yeah, don't wipe my fingers on my, on my new sweatshirt. Exactly. Hold on. Uh, barbecue, TNT barbecue cow shake. They're like these seasoned salt things. These are, these are really good. These are really fun. Ooh. This one looks like it's got some peppers in it or something. For beef, says MJ. I'm going to try the seasoned cow shake right now. Here we go. Oh, that is good. That's got like some coarse salt and some pepper. That's really nice. It's like coarse salt and pepper, a little seasoning. Oh, that's really good. That's a delight. Wow. That's really nice. Mm -mm. Hang on, I tried another one. <coughs> that's spicy too. <coughs> These are fun. Chicken, a bird shake here. Yeah, it looks like she sent me like a gift box or something because I got like 10 of them. I'll have to look on the site again. Uh, Albert says try it on ice cream. All right, this is the one, the bird shake. Yeah, you could probably throw these on before grilling something, too, actually. Probably really good. All right, this, this is the bird shake. Let's see this one. Ooh, that's nice. That's kind of a little sweet. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice, too. Different, a little sweeter. These are really good. These are fun. Let me try one more. One more. But will you? We'll try when we do the. Uh, oh my towel went away. When we do the cooking stream, I'll just try them all and everything. Uh, where's the other one I want to try? What is Gator Shake? Gator shake. Again, these are all Uncle Steve's shakes. If you Google Uncle Steve's shakes, you'll find them. Oh, the thing came out.
Oh yeah, on roasted veggies. This you could put this on a lot of things. I'm gonna try the gator shake now. Here we go. Gator shake. Oh, that's really good. It's like seasoning. It's uh, I don't even know what's in this one. It's really good though. Wow. They all taste different. And it's all some kind, it's like a seasoned salt, but some of them are sweeter and they have different seasonings in them. And some of them are more peppery than others. Um, they're quite good though. So we're going to have to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these, when we do our cooking stream, I'm going to just like try all the sauces and shakes and everything. I don't even have a favorite. I really liked, I really like them all. I mean, the cow shake is especially fun because it's got these big, it's got this coarse, salt grains and like these big coarse peppers in them and you can see the consistency there but uh i'll show you actually now it's kind of hard to see but there uh let me uh i'm going to show you the website again you can actually look them up right there UncleStevesShake.com Those are really cool, MJ. Thank you. Oh, you could really put it on anything. It kind of reminds me of like tahini sauce. Can use them on the grill, dry foods. Shake what it is you're going to eat. Beverages. Steak and other meats, shake a little, shake on both sides and let it sit for a bit. Grill as you like it. You can also put it on after the grill. I don't know if MGA sent me, there's like a gift box one. Anyways. Those are really good. On eggs, says Evelyn. JCC says there are packages of the favorites on the site. <clears throat> oh, and there's a whole ingredients thing on the site where they talk about the different ones and what the ingredients are. I think you can look it all up and everything. So fun. Well, what, let's try this last one. Let's try Lucky Shake. Lucky Shake. All-purpose seasoning. We're going to try this last one. Tracy Ralston was here. Thanks, Tracy, for stopping by. Leslie Ladyhawk's Coloring Cave was here. Oh, this looks good, too. This looks like it's got some big pieces of pepper in it. This is the Lucky Shake. <clears throat> oh, I like it. It's got, it's, it's like a, the thicker pieces. Oh, a little bit sweet. That's nice. The Lucky Shake is really nice. These are great. These are a little bit addictive. <clears throat> Reminds me of like tahini sauce. You could just put it on anything. <clears throat> I need a, I need some water. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, ingredients. Like the Lucky Shake I just had, it says salt, spices, garlic, paprika, sugar, uh, MSG, chili pepper, chicken flavor, a couple other things. 
A lot of them have salt and spices, paprika. A bunch of them have MSG. A bunch of them have that chili pepper, chicken flavor, those kind of things. I need a sip of water. All right. That is fantastic. The um, Uncle Steve shake, and they have barbecue sauce too. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to... You know, I'll also pour a little of this. I'll taste a little of this, the barbecue sauce. But I'm going to put it away and then and then uh, when we do our stream, I'll try them all. Our cooking stream. I'll try it on food like they should be tried. I have a bunch of other sauces to try too. Ali says... I'm going to have to buy the whole order for my daughter and me. They're, every one I tried is really fun. And they're just, you know, it's like, they're like seasoned salt. You can just throw it on things. And I'm trying a taste of this barbecue sauce. The Uncle Steve's sauce with no name. Oh, that tastes good. That's nice. That's nice. Not too hot, not too sweet. Fun. Fun. Oh. All right. MJ, that was really nice of you. Right. I gotta I gotta I gotta put these in here. I gotta put them in here. Keep them all organized. Oh, that was really good. That was a fun tasting. Thank you to MJ for that. That's so fun. Oh, guys, I don't know what we're going to do that tops that tonight. We might be, we might be, we've hit midnight. It might be our time. It might be our time to wrap this stream up. Let me read a couple more comments here. Allie says they sound great. They're really good. They're fun. Yeah, the number I got, the one I got, there was a sauce. There's a barbecue sauce, and then how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the sauce. I got nine seasonings in the sauce. Well, thanks, Ronald came. That was very nice. Sorry it took two weeks, two months to open it. That's really cool. Linda says, my hubby would love those, and he's the cook, so I'd get to enjoy it too. Are they ultra spicy? No, they're not ultra spicy. They're, none of them I was like, oh my gosh, my mouth is totally burning. I don't think that's the point of them. Some are hotter than others, but none of the ones I had were, were ultra spicy. I guess, are they in Texas? I don't know. He talks about Texas a lot, Linda. You know, he has a YouTube page, too. They don't post much, though. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Guys, I think it's our time. I think it's our time. I appreciate you joining me for the stream. We hadn't done one of these in like 10 days.
people want a cooking stream. We'll do one soon. We'll do a cooking stream soon. A Bubba Twitcher wanted me to put some between my cheek and gum. Yeah, I am under the influence of salt and cayenne pepper, Bubba Twitcher. That's true. Hey, Barry, Dingle, and Scouse are here on Twitch. Thanks for being here on Twitch. All right, guys, I really appreciate you joining us, joining me. Uh, MJ says, when I saw them, I had to get them as a funny gift because of the name. Yeah, you know, when I saw Uncle Steve's shake, I thought like, my nieces call me Uncle Steve, and I was like, "Are are they? Did they send this to me as like a joke or something?" So that was neat. But we'll we'll try them when we do our, when we do this stream where we cook everything. Seventy seven pool Bob says you needed a break from all the news. Yes, I think I did. Thanks Atlantic Coast for being here. Uh, let's thank our moderators, Raven Riley. Thanks Raven for being here. Linda Belk, J A N P, K Body, Sarah. Huge thanks to our moderators. I'm gonna go do some work on my taxes. Ugh. Uh, appreciate all you guys being here, people like Marty Hagwood, Lou Ann, J C C, Baranico, and A H Lunali, Syria. Uh, thanks again, Y Chin, for my new hoodie. For my new hoodie! Wow. Feels good, the hoodie. My zip hoodie. I had the pullover. G. Williams. Maybe one day, G. Williams. We'll see. Marissa Pugliesi. Brandy Janie Brown, El Camino. Rob Zoso. <laughs> Barbara Crossley, thanks for being here. All of our Twitch viewers like Bubba Twitcher, Barry Dingle. Hans Niskatuki. Biz R. Okay to play all day. Double Vision Larry. Controllers in. Thanks again, MJ. That was really nice. I look forward to trying them on food. April Coco. Thanks for being here, April Coco. Polly, thanks for being here. Quick thanks to everybody who gave gift memberships and donations like uh, Susan Berenico, Get Set. I'll have to think about going to Japan and Hong Kong, Berenico. Get Set, thank you, MJ, Sylvia S., Terry Workman, Polly, Rage Quit Now, Zach A, Eddie Smith. I hope Eddie gets a surgery soon. Crypto King, Lois Cox, M. Cruella. Yeah, uh, Raven Riley is modding. Raven says, all of our California blue viewers, please stay safe. Exactly. I'll keep an eye on, on California tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a stream on it. I'll have to see how it's looking. Uh, Terry Alexander, thanks for uh, watching. Darren Markley, Rick Hoppy, Joe South Oz, Kim Zink. Spinner stream, says Red Wolf. I think that's it for the spinner. Loves cats. Thanks for being here. Yep, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. All right, guys, we're wrapping this up. Thank you again for being here. Thanks, everybody, on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, Look near channel on X. I want to follow over there, Lookner Channel on X. Good talk tonight. Good talk. We talked about a bunch of things. Lookner Channel over there on X. 
Terry Alexander. Who knows? Maybe I'll book a trip somewhere. Maybe I'll just book a trip somewhere. You never know. I think I kind of need to. Oh, my Florida. Thanks for gifting the, the sub, my Florida 22. Susan, thanks for being here, Pony Boy. We've never done it. I probably should just do it. It's really not that hard. Yeah, people are saying do it. I, I should. Once, once the Middle East stuff dies down a little bit, I, I don't want to do it while Middle East is going crazy. But as soon as that die, dies down, I'll just pick. I'll just pick it and go. I'll just do it. I. It'd be a fun thing to do. I've never done anything like it, so I'll just pick a place and say I'm going to go there and bring my computer in, and that's that. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. It'll be a fun experience. Then I can talk about it while I'm there. can stream while I'm there and discuss it. <laughs> no, Linda says that could be centuries from now. No, I, I just mean in terms of like all of the stuff, like right this second. All right, Luann, thanks for being here. Marzell, good to see you, Marzell. Auric 3D. Yeah, exactly, Kiwi NZ. Well, it's 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 okay. If I'm away and I have my computer, I could at least do some coverage. Anne Irvine Andre. Thanks for being here as well. All right, guys. That's it for now. Wrapping it up. Thanks, guys. Uh, Pony Boy, thanks for thanks for being here. More streams soon, and uh, I'll keep my eye on the California thing. Who knows? Maybe we'll do some coverage of that. Thanks again to all of our mods. And uh, here is the theme song on the way out.